Hello there, and welcome to another episode of the In Between Podcast. Let's go ahead and get things started. Hello there, and thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of the In Between Podcast. I am your host, as always, Kyle McLemore. Thank you so much. Before we get too far along here, make sure you do me a favor and smack that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and punch that subscribe button. Tell a friend, uh, help spread the podcast. We definitely appreciate it, and it helps the show stay alive, and it helps us keep pumping out that sweet, sweet content straight to you. Oh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. Here we are at, uh, right, when this uh, post, it should be right at the beginning of September. And, uh, oh, yeah, coming fresh out of my trabajo. That's right, fresh out of work and into the studio. I've got a big bowl of Chipotle waiting for me, and I'm using that as a motivator to do this podcast. Uh, it's incredibly easy to just be like, man, I'll do it later, and then never get to it. Especially coming straight out of work, I only have a limited amount of time of before my energy levels really crash out here. Especially after I eat anything, so holding off on that Chipotle bowl. Uh, surprisingly, no issues going through. I feel like Chipotle is one of the places where I stress out the most about ordering uh, in that conveyor line. But uh, surprisingly, no issues other than it was kind of a long line. But things were moving pretty groovy and it was all good. Uh, I wanted to talk about what we've been going through this last couple weeks. No Wi-Fi, no internet. At Well, I mean, I have internet access on my phone, but... No wireless internet, no Wi-Fi connection, um, which you don't realize how important Wi-Fi is until it's all gone. Uh, Yeah, can't connect, um, can't connect anything. Like, can't even connect our stupid Roomba thing unless you got the Wi-Fi. Uh, Can't download any of my Spotify podcasts. Can't download any new shows or anything unless I go to work and I use my work Wi-Fi. So I've been doing a lot of offline stuff. I've uh, been hooking up the old Xbox. spots. Uh, I've been playing some games I haven't played in forever just because there's not a, much else for me to do. So I've been playing that. That's been fun. Also been burning through some DVDs. Uh, it feels like such an old thing to do now is to crack open an actual DVD and get that disc in there. It's like such a primitive, like, Ugh, what is this, a fucking VHS? Like, it's reaching that level. Um, but it's been a while since I've had to burn. Uh, luckily, I have a pretty decent DVD collection, so I've been uh, lucking out on that, getting to burn through a few of those classics uh, we I haven't seen for a while. And it's also kind of locks you into making you forced to watch the whole movie instead of like skipping around and just like, man, I've seen this later, I'll come back. But really got to lock into what you're watching. And, um, well, before I, yeah, but what I've been watching lately is, uh, you guys remember Prison Break? Um, ba-na, ba-na. Prison Break uh, used to be my shit. Um, back, let's see, it came out like in 2005, so I would have been like, I don't know, 14 or 15 or 16 in that somewhere era, which uh, totally checks out as to why I was so into this show when it first came out, because I remember being like, bro, this show's good, dude. You know why it's good? Because it's like legit, dude. It's like, it could like really happen. This dude could like, just like paint this whole like map on his body of how to break out and he's got all these clues man it's like that's why i like the show because it's like pretty legit uh yeah and then like now watching it in hindsight it's not legit it's hilarious but not legit uh like the first like episode one he's already got like a meeting with the warden he's like hey I hear you're like a civil, like a, you're like an engineer, right? I need you to take a look at something. I'm building the fucking Taj Mahal in my office. Like, what the fuck is go? What kind of a, this is like ultra mats, supposed to be like Shawshank level fucking prison. And it's like the warden's got a fucking toothpick model of the Taj Mahal. It's an anniversary present for my wife and I'm having a little trouble trouble having a little trouble putting it together maybe you could help me out uh to cut some time off or to hook you up with some easy work it's not a not a bad thing to have the warden on your side 
and it's just like prison break is crazy uh what's really good about it is like the it's the characters in the show is what really sells it is i really because i'm like, such a fan of like a good villain and it's chock full of bad guys locked up in prison uh tea bad bro tea bad first of all a character named tea bad is amazing and then he's also like incredibly in just a great great villain uh, always like being very snaky and like very like treacherous and just like really really fun to watch so it's been really hilarious uh, going back through that show and really uh, looking at it in the new light of like a grown adult who's like this is fucking bullshit but it's uh, hilarious uh, very well done I think it's done by Brett Ratner uh, and he does a great job uh, really great job helming that show so it's been fun going back with that um, another thing I wanted to talk about with speaking of offline stuff, when was the last time you guys played like a board game or something? Uh, speaking of offline, been like looking at like stuff to do, like reading or like just stuff to do that like, doesn't involve Wi Fi connection. And one of those things is like, uh, when's the last time you guys busted out like a board game or something or played some kind of game? You guys play Cards of Humanity? Am I the only one who really doesn't like that game at all? Like, I get crushing anxiety when I play Cards Against Humanity because Cards Against Humanity is, like, the equivalent of, like, doing stand-up and, like, having all your jokes bomb. Has anybody ever played Cards Against Humanity and just done terribly and, like, had nobody laugh at your cards and just, like, that feeling of just, like, ugh. And you got to play it off, like, huh. Yeah, whose stupid, who's stupid card is that? Definitely not mine, loser. <laughs> I'm not funny. Or what's the worst? Is like, cause like somebody has to read out your cards, so it's like, you know, you use your cards to make like a funny sentence or whatever, and then like the person who's like the reader has to read them all, and like you get their, re- they're like the judge of like what's funny, so it's like nothing worse than when like they're reading your cards and it's like, hmm. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen in a treehouse with some peanut butter sandwiches. Huh. All right. If you get that, huh. All right. It's like the worst. Like, especially when it's like somebody before you has like some banner cards and they're just like, oh my God. Abraham Lincoln with a mouse in his top hat. Ah, this is hilarious. And then it gets to your cards and it's just like, oh. Okay, next card. And it's just like, oh. I'm so not funny. Blah. Uh, yeah, Cards Against Humanity can be b- 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 brutal at times, but yeah, trying to get through, get through all this uh, living offline kind of thing. And uh, one thing also I wanted to bring up was like, uh, wanted to get so badly. Do I want to get a soundboard going in here? But it's like you know I gotta buy it and then I gotta hook it up and then I gotta like program it. But it's like, hey, this is the in between podcast where we're just figuring things out, which means I can do stuff. I can do a lot of stuff in post, like, uh, you know, add sounds. Like, so when we start, I'm going to just have to make a mental note of start doing stuff like playing some music. And then we cut it. So it's hard to tell, but there was actually no music right now. But on your side, it sounds like I'm really now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier. Finish friends playing some play. jams here. Um, but yeah, one day... I'm just gonna get a fade button and just start adding it all in post. All these different songs. I have a good playlist. A good one. Then a little. Yeah. So, uh, that'd be something to look forward to. Uh, put in a little bit more. If I had more time, it's like the more time I have, I'm trying. That's why the whole point of doing this episode is I'd really force myself to do it. The more I do it, the more content, the more I can practice, and the better it will be. So, we'll go ahead and wrap it there. Have you hit that subscribe button? Because if you haven't, what the heck, man? It's right there. You just poked it right there. Hit a like while you're over there, too, because it's going to help the show keep going, and the show's going to keep getting better, and we'll go ahead and hit that button on the way out. Thanks for stopping by. It's the In Between Podcast, and we'll see you next time on The Pod.